It is not even officially summer yet, but we are already hearing about Lyme disease and ticks. Since many of us are anxious to start spending time outside after such a long winter, and ticks seem to be everywhere, what should we be doing to protect ourselves and our loved ones from being bitten and potentially exposed to Lyme disease? New Hampshire State Epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan joins us now for our monthly checkup. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Chan. My pleasure. Thank you. For starters, tell us what Lyme disease is. Uh, so Lyme disease is the name for an infection that's caused by a spiral-shaped bacterium, also called a spirochete. Uh, and this bacteria is transmitted uh, through the bite of an infected tick, and those ticks are called uh, black-legged ticks. They used to be called deer ticks, and the name has changed. Um, in 2014, New Hampshire had uh, more than 1,400 cases of Lyme disease reported to the public health department. And New Hampshire actually uh, has been consistently one of the highest, uh, one of the states with the highest incidence rates of Lyme disease in, in the nation. And so, Lyme disease certainly affects our population. Um, the the bacteria that causes Lyme disease lives in the gut of a tick, and so it takes a couple of days after a tick bites you for that bacteria to migrate from the tick into the person that is biting. Um, but typical symptoms of Lyme disease uh, within a month after the bite uh, that can develop are a bullseye, an expanding bullseye type rash. About 70 to 80 percent of people that get a tick bite and infected with Lyme disease will develop that. Um, and they call it, people can also develop symptoms of you know, generalized fevers and chills, muscle aches, joint aches. Um, we do have good blood tests that can detect Lyme disease, although they detect the antibodies against the infection, and so it can take a number of weeks, up to four weeks or more, to do, for those tests to be positive. We also do have good antibiotics that can treat Lyme disease, um, and if people are treated early, generally they go on to make a full recovery. What are some of the steps that people can take to protect themselves, and are some people at higher risk than others for Lyme? That's a great question. Um, the, the best way to prevent and protect yourself from Lyme disease is to prevent tick bites. So, you know, people that go outdoors, work outdoors, or play outdoors are at highest risk. And so people, uh, we recommend generally avoid tick-infested areas, shrubs, long grass. Um, if people are outside, they should wear uh, insect repellent that contains DEET. Um, to applied to exposed skin um, or wear long pants and, and long you know shirts and sleeves. Uh, there's also a spray you can apply to clothing uh, to protect against and repel ticks. Um, and then when you come in from outside, generally it's recommended that you perform tick checks of yourself and on your clothing and on your pets as well. They can bring in ticks. And then you can shower to rinse off um, any loose ticks that aren't yet attached. Mm -hmm. we, also, we actually have a, um, a tick-borne disease prevention plan that uh, the public health department just published that goes into more detail about some of that as well as some landscaping techniques people can do to reduce the ticks on their lawn. All right. Dr. Chan, good stuff. Thanks for the Pleasure. checkup.